and you can also use the assign material to selection button to assign the material to the object you have selected and we did apply the multi sub uh, material to the object not the child material because we're going to select the object and in modify make sure you are in polygon select mode we're going to apply the ID here under polygon material IDs we're going to assign the ID of the child material which is one and then we're going to make the proxy mesh and assign the material ID of two so they both use the same material and CryEngine 3 only needs to read from one material now to make our proxy let's go back to the create tab and we're going to make a box just like before click and drag to determine the dimensions and if something ever gets in the way a very helpful tool is in tools display floater and let's say you're working with something and other things are getting in the way you can hide unselected to hide everything else that you don't have selected to just work on what you're working on and likewise you can also hide objects that you have selected and once you're done you can unhide all but we got the size right so we're done um, editing this proxy we can go ahead and turn it into an editable poly so that we can select all the polygons of this object and you can see that the box is named box 02 right now and it's important that it's named proxy so that the engine knows it's a proxy and then we apply that multi sub material to it and right now you can see it's reading the wrong standard material which is why it's important to set the material ID to 2 which is the proxy okay now it's hard to tell because they're the same size and they're intersecting but our proxy is reading from the proxy and our crate is reading from the crate and just for good practice and another tool that you need to learn is to hit H and that brings you to your scene selector you can see all the objects in your scene and let's we've named the proxy let's name the box create one and now everything is textured and ready to bring into the engine let's save our file and it's actually important that you save the file to the same place that you're working within the CryEngine so CryEngine game objects create one and we name it the same create one dot max in the CryEngine save your max file and then we can go ahead and under utilities the hammer icon use the CryEngine 3 exporter to select all of our objects you can hit H also to control and select all these objects and add selected into this object exporter and once you do that it's ready to go and one thing I just noticed this material name this one's create one this one is not proxy which it needs to be so you go to that child standard material you name it proxy and that'll ensure that the engine knows it's a proxy so our objects are here in the exporter and if you hit export nodes once you set up the path the object will export you can hit close you can go down to export the material make sure you have the multi sub object parent material selected and create a material name it create 01 the same as your uh, model and CryEngine automatically opened the material editor for us. You can double check in your folder that you now have a CGF model file and a .mtl material file. So let's go into the CryEngine. Once your map is loaded, you can go to Objects tab and Geom Entity and find your crate alongside the rest of the objects and pull your crate into the scene and more than likely you have a red texture over your crate. That's because you need to hit M to go to the materials and find under objects your crate folder and the crate material should be in there and your proxy mesh probably starts with an alum shader you need to set it to no draw because you don't want to see it and the surface type needs to be wood so that you don't get a no surface error and do the same thing as uh, for the surface type wood to your crate and that can be uh, an alum shader and now you can hit control G to jump in the game and your collision mesh should be working you should be able to shoot your box and if you have a uh, no surface type error or if you get any other kind of error you should probably go back into 3ds max double check all these settings that everything is named properly you may want to 
take these objects out of the exporter, practice hiding objects using your display floater and using H to select different objects and double check that your um, under the modify tab if you have an object selected that the polygons have the proper ID and if all else fails don't be afraid to start a new model and do it once more time you might be able to do it on your own now or at least try your best and I'm sure you'll get it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial we'll have more 3ds max tutorials coming in the future if that's what you guys want go to www.justmakegames.com so you can vote for the tutorials that you want next and we're also having a lot of contests for free prizes thanks a lot